she wasn't showing love, man. I forgot her name. She got like 1.7 million Twitter followers and she's got like 600 views on oh. her vlog. <laughs> <laughs> on her podcast. <laughs> oh, she says it's a podcast. She's got oh. 600 views. I've got 2 million followers. How are you getting 200 view, views on, on your podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, she wasn't showing any love. I forgot her name, man. Yeah, but, don't forget uh, about I that. Have, it's cool. We saw them. We see you guys. She yeah. mustn't come for us. We'll end a career. A speedster. <laughs> How did you end with this coming? Ish. Ish. Enda. Barmini. Many ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Yes, yes. we ain't going nowhere, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. Yes. Remember, I told you guys it's tough at the top, eh? Yeah? Tough at the yeah, top. Yeah, 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 we are yeah, officially yeah. the worst podcast in yeah. South Africa. Yeah, actually, from yeah. being number one, we are yeah. now the most hated. Yeah, most well, hated. yeah, we're the last one. Yeah. <laughs> so, welcome to SA's most hated podcast. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing, man? Did Yo, you guys good. good. Nice. We survived the storm. Good. We survived the storm. We're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're here. Back it was, it was, and it was, it was a, cloudy, a cloudy week. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't very shiny. It was just rain, color. Mm. So, you know, the, the week itself was, but we survived. How does it feel being cancelled? Who, who? All of us. Oh, okay. Are we not cancelled? <laughs> <laughs> I've been cancelled from <laughs> when I was a born. <laughs> uh, so Since I was born, I've been cancelled, dog. Yeah, I'm used to it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, guess what I did this weekend, bro? What? Guess what movie I finally watched? What? Tenet. Ah! Ay, 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 How confused are you? Ay, 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 One to a hundred. How confused uh, Like, let's say a hundred, bro. Did you rewatch? No, 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 I couldn't. Yeah. I even forgot, like, what was happening mid-movie. Yes, yeah. I got bro. lost. It's, I, I, I do not get, like... Who finds the joy of making such a movie yeah. and who who will find it like look, I like movies where it's like a mind fuck, right? Yeah. But it gets you thinking. It gets you thinking and it's enjoyable. And, You'll and, enjoy and the mind fuck. In your thinking, you're able to get the like get to the resolve. Like what did but this time it's like, what? I don't get it. Thank I'm, you. I'm, lost. I'm even more lost. What's the backward? What's the fast forwarding? I hey, like, uh, that movie. Can't, can't. Christopher Nolan, eh? Yes. Didn't he do Inception? Did he do Inception? Uh, no. It's Cameron something did Inception, isn't it? Mm, let me I think it's it. Cameron what, something. What, the director? Um, yeah, who did Inception. Uh -huh. Those niggas are on LSD or some shit, man. That, yeah. that, that's not normal, bro. Yeah, and I feel like it's a movie that's made for other movie lovers or like, you know, these movie fundies. Mm. I don't feel like it's a movie made for a yes. simpleton or just an ordinary person. It really, it's like... Yeah, ah, it was Christopher Nolan. Mm. Yeah, who directed uh, mm. Inception? Oh, for real? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Dope. Same guy. Yeah. Because no. when I was it's, it's, yes. now I get when it. I was watching the movie, like halfway, I'm like, is this necessary? Like, honestly, let, let's be yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. Is this necessary? It's too much. That's what ah, I'm it's saying. Too like, much, only like. Bro. Movie like fanatics. What's the mission? What's the mission? Can we get to the mission? It's just, just it's too much. Uh, it's just. But I, I feel like I've been in one of those tenant things that you can go to the future. Because remember, I predicted we'll get cancelled. <laughs> 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 I went to the future. So you went through those machines. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and I came back. <laughs> I told you. You niggas. warned us. We didn't listen. Yeah, didn't he listen. warned you us. You warned us. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit, another thing I heard this week was that, um, this weekend, is that uh, Sunny L doesn't make his music, bro. Sun L. Sun L musician. Sun L, yes. Sun L musician. Yes. Music? Yes, Get out of here, bro. Yeah, apparently there's two uh, colored guys who, who make all the songs for no, him. I you kid you no, not. Man. I kid you not. No way. I, 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 I kid you I, I, not. They've been making his music like for so, years now. Wow. Even no. Simi's whole album, they did it. Is it? Yes, yes. it's the same sound, bro. It's, it's like, yes. Guys. Fuck, and they're cool. willing to just be there in the background because say a thing. <gasps> but why exactly like what? dude you'd like you're making song of the year I got Mali, all these huge songs and this guy's getting all the credits I mean he's huge he's getting all the bookings why wouldn't you come out you're just or, rocking the guy right now like enjoying his music maybe why? they have a contract in place oh. <laughs> 
Maybe they have a contract. Yeah. If you think about it, what's stopping them from releasing their own song? Yeah. Yes, we're going to say Nyabaita, that's Sanel style. Yes, but, yes. But yes, eventually yes. it'll show with who's okay, okay, the real boss of the sound. I couldn't believe it though, because I'm like, no way. Sanel, 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 Sanel. Such a Can sweet person. Thing? Bro, I've yeah. been following his career since Ubala. Ubala. Mm. Remember Ubala? Yeah. I don't remember it, but I remember Sanel. I mean, initially his inception into the industry, he was signed to Demo, mm. uh, Demo Music. That's one of the guys from Shana. And mm. he was the in house producer at the company. The sound was not this huge, mm. atmospheric African mm. sound, mm. you know? Mm. It was something him. different. Let's call him, find out. Sanel. Sanel. Yeah, yeah, okay. let's call Sanel. Yo, 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 yo. Actually, have you interviewed him? No, no, no. I was meeting to last year sometime. Okay. Yo, what up, my G? What up, man? You're live Yo. on the podcast, man. Sol is here, Ghost yeah, yeah, is here. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Bro, is it true that you have ghost producers, man? <laughs> I don't have ghost producers, man. But I have guys that I work with uh, that I've signed from Northern Cape and Eastern Cape. Yeah, because yeah, a friend of mine was telling me that you have two colored guys. Uh, that yeah. basically uh, produce all the music that we know from you, and now there was a there's a tiff, or you're not paying them, or something like that. <laughs> Are you getting all this craziness? No, man, they make songs for themselves. They make songs for the artists internally. I'm growing them. You know, they're not ready yet. You know, five soon. I was working on the album this year. You know, so so. What is their contribution when you are producing a song? What do they do uh, on on those songs? Um, <laughs> you know, I've, uh, I just add um, what's this guy's name, Mumpo, that I work with. You know, we add piano or strings sometimes. Sometimes I finish the song alone. You know, the most musical is all Claudio. is on a map of my artist, like Wazan. They were the ones who were heading that. So, you know, that's how I introduce people. That's how we get introduced to the system. You produce, introduce the sound, and then eventually when you're strong, you come out with a word, you know. I heard yeah. you say, say Claudio. Is that one of the guys? What are their names? These Claudio guys? and Kenza. Claudio and Kenza. Claudio and Kenza. Oh, and, yeah. then, and then, okay, so the sound that we know, your sound, like the Sunny L sound, who owns that sound? Is that your sound or their sound? <laughs> it's my sound. It's funny that you interview me now because um, I, you never get interviews when you are doing so many just good things on your own. Mm, but mm. then now, you are interviewing me now because you just heard something. Oh, hey, what is happening? It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. Crazy. That you're able to interview me like this, you know. It's, it's sad, actually, because we don't celebrate each other, you mm, know. Mm. It saddens me. And that's why when I heard about this, I was like, there's no way. Because, you know, I've been following your career since Ubala. Remember, we made a a Joburg day. And I was like, there's no way. Sunny L has been rocking. There's no way. Bro, you know, it makes me mad. You know, I'm sorry if if, if, if I I, I seem like I'm lashing out on you right Mm. now. Mm. But it it really, it really bothers me. You know, I'm all about just uplifting. You know, I always want to keep my things clean. But you know, but um, wait, I just I just want that you know if 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 it's clarity that you're looking for right now or somebody you're just supporting me right now mm. you know it's just a little sensitive you know um, it's not an easy thing because I really just want to help people I just mm. want people to get to where they need to be so it makes me a little edgy you know okay. whenever I get things you know um, yeah man but it, it it is what it is right now I'm I'm happy for everyone I'm. I'm doing this because I really want to help people. Yeah. Nothing more than that. If it's if it if you feel like it's not working for you or I'm not helping you, it's okay for us to just do our thing. But I've got so many things and so many places I need to be and full of and I you know. So I'm just giving this platform for all the every young guy or mm-hmm. or lady who just wants to get into the system. You know, teaching the ropes and then and I don't wanna keep them. I always tell them, I was like, Hey guys, I'm only doing this just it's a platform. Get in, do what you need to do. And then we'll change our our nature, you know, of we contract and how we move forward. Yeah. Okay. No, I hear you, man. Like all I yeah, can man. say, all I can say is, bro, uh, thanks for taking our call. Thanks for clarifying. Hopefully, we're not yeah. gonna hear an article in two, three weeks saying, "Yeah, Sunny L stole our sound. Sunny L did this." Nah, because nah, you clarified nah, everything now. 
it's, it, it, you know what's beautiful? I love that I'm actually being interviewed about music. You know, mm, people mm. don't have uh, music anymore. It's all about music. But as in, uh, I got mad at first, but nothing I read. I said, no, it remained, hey, this is exactly what we need. We need a little bit of talk about music, you know. I, I love this, you know. And it, 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 you know, I, I, just, I just want to do for you know, it's, 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 a little, it's a little touching, you know. But young, yeah, it messes with me a little bit. And, um, you know, I was talking to the guys and then they were just like, no, son, I'm going to take it and then think everyone is going to be or whatever, whatever. I think I'm going to fair chance, you know, whoever just will come and work and, and appreciate what we're giving him, that's a cool enough. But whoever doesn't feel like that or anyhow, you know, I'm going to do it. Let's move on, you know. We, we're trying to move on and put Mokumun into the system somehow, you know. All right. Sanel, thank you so much for your time, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, man. Keep cool. rocking, my dog. All right, man. Peace, bro. Oh, shut up, shut up. Uh, he's ducking and diving. <laughs> he, he doesn't sound comfortable. Yeah, he's ducking and diving. <laughs> he does not sound comfortable at all. It's like he didn't expect it. Yeah. It's like, yo. Yeah, just but move look, your mic man, closer there. Move your like, mic closer. It's like, yo, it's like he's... he's yeah, he's, there you go. Yeah. You know, and like, sorry, but for and so. such a long conversation. Like, yeah. I, and, and was... I didn't hear what he was saying. You lost me there. Did you hear what he was saying? He was, uh, going he was ducking hey, and look, diving. He was ducking and diving. The one thing he said was that it's sad that we are calling him only now when there is a scandal brewing, mm. um, as opposed to when he's Which doing is not well, true because we've been showing him exactly. so much love. A lot of people, yeah. not yeah. just us, man. A lot of people have been showing Usana love. Where, where we do he celebrate think? him. Yeah, yeah. he's celebrated. He's like a, a celebrated guy. And also, I mean, if a doctor keeps saving people's lives, it's his job, right? Yeah. If you do, do one thing, of course, that's going to... Everyone is going to talk. Exactly. Because as a music producer, you're supposed to be, make hits. It's your job. And we show love for you. You know? My thing is, my thing is uh, uh, if you listen to what he was saying, he didn't sound... There was no conviction. Like, remember when we were, when we were interviewing Zakes? There wasn't. And Zakes was like, yeah, clap your hands. I did it in the airport. And I did the bass line. I did this. Boom, 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 boom. You understand? Mm. There wasn't, like, room for... Is he lying? Is he telling the truth? You could just tell. Because he didn't... He said the guys help in studio. What did he say? The guy, he co-producer. What did he say the guys do? No, he says there are guys that help him. That help him. Yeah, which is another way for... Yeah, you're telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> and then I asked specifically, what do they do? Mm. Look, as a producer, you do lay down, you know, you produce everything and then you get a guy like MacGyver to come play the piano because of his That's a touch. session musician. That's a session musician. Mm. He doesn't create the music. Yeah. You've already laid out the music or composed the music. Yeah. He just expresses it even better, right? So he just puts what's there. And so, there's a lot of this shit happening, eh? You know, like uh, Bella Chow. Mm -hmm. That's not Cubs uh, and Maporis. It was a guy called Tyler ICU. He produced that. Oh, yeah, for okay. real? Yeah. So all these labels, they have like ghost producers who oh, yes, who, yes, who yes, churn yes, out yes. the music. So at the end of the day, like for such productions, there, there is a team involved. I'd assume. Cubs are they've got Cubs my producer, they've got mass music as well. Mm. Oh, you're mm. saying that yeah, mass music is yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know but, the sound he produces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just hope then the guys are credited. If he says he works with some guys in studio, I hope they're credited. When we submitted it, I no longer see these sleeves these days, but I hope in the credits, they, they are there. You know, their names are there and they're getting paid by Sambro. Mm. Yeah, but look what happens in the dark, always comes out in the light. So we'll see. Yeah. What do you think about this whole ghost producer thing? Huh. Because it seems like it's a formula. Aye, mm. man. I, th I think it's shit. I mean... Really, guys, I, give guys their credits. You know what I mean? Ghostwriter, I understand because we're talking of performance, right? A rapper or whatever. Same? Isn't it the same? Isn't it's, it the same? It's not the same because producing, you're sitting in studio, okay, beat making. You're sitting in studio, you're making a beat. Mm. Producing, you're directing the whole, mm. hey, you sing like this, sing like that. You don't need, I mean... Why would you want to claim all that if you didn't do that? It's not like performing. Let's say MacGyver. They're like, ah, he's better looking than you. So he'll be the artist. But I'm good with writing the songs. Mm -hmm. So you can go ahead. But with producing... Good example. I like that. Mm. With producing... <laughs> good example. <laughs> but with, you feel better, right? <laughs> but with producing, I feel like it's a behind the scenes... Imagine uh, if thing. you found out that Christopher Why? Nolan did not do Tenet. Like there was some other guy who came up with that idea. 
How would you feel? I wouldn't feel it. I'm not a fan, so I wouldn't feel. You know, I think it's a bad example. <laughs> when you say if you, did, if you didn't, like didn't direct it, but it was someone else. Yes, it is. He didn't it write it. Yeah, didn't write it. It doesn't yeah. change anything. It doesn't if, if we're talking about a writer, it doesn't change anything for me mm. because it's just it's writing. It's behind the scenes. Mm. You get me? So I I feel like. What's the point of having a ghost producer? If you didn't produce something, you didn't produce something. Yeah. Mm. Because already producers don't re really get the limelight like that, mm. as opposed to singing, where someone can write a song for you, but they're not an artist or they're not the performer of that song. I think that makes sense. But why would you take someone else's intellectual property and claim it to be yours? I think it's whack. Yeah, and most of these ghost producers, they just want to feed their the families, man. They're desperate. They're a lot of desperate. people have sold huge songs mm. like for 2,000 rands. And yeah, I know there was a yeah. story with Infinite Boys way back mm -hmm. with, um, there's a song, they, 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 I think they sold or something to mm. one of the Durban Cuba. guys. Cuba. 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 Mm. You know, people mm. just, their songs for peanuts because hunger, bro. Mm. And as a producer. Tyler Icu, sorry, that uh, Tyler Icu is actually credited on the song. Oh, is yes. it? Oh, oh dope. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, credited on the song. You that's see, that dope. means Yeah, Tyler give people their credit. Royalties. Yeah. And their royalties, because yeah. that's money. It's not just credit, it's money, you mm. know? So, I think ghost producing those whack. Like, I'm a producer, or oh, was active, I'd never take a song from someone. And I've got those offers so many times. I'm like, dude, if it's your song, we'll say it's your song. I can't say it's my song. There's no pride, bro. In, mm. I mean, come on. Dude. If you didn't make something, you didn't make something. Maybe we must get ghostwriters for this podcast. Maybe this is why. <laughs> <laughs> must get ghost well, we're already the ghost presenter. Let us fire the ghostwriters. What if we say, let us fire the ghost? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need new ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What do you guys think about that new uh, series on Moja Love? Uma Kwa Pen. Uma Kwa Pen. Oof, Moja Love. I think, I mean, it's Moja Love. I think it's on brand with what Moja Love do. It does, yeah. <laughs> Trashy and, you know, like tabloidy kind of stuff. I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to trend every week. It's going to be one of the most watched series because people love the kind of juice. It's like Jerry Springer. I was about weekend. to say, I was about Remember to say. Jerry Springer? I get uh, Jerry Springer vibes yes, from Moja Love. But that's Moja Love. They're a whole Jerry Springer network. You know what I mean? So I think it's going to... What is it about? So it's about a woman who's a side chick and she's confronting the guy now to say, I'm tired of being hidden. That's basically... Yeah, it's just... like what, Jola 992.0. Yeah. yeah, it's like yeah. Yeah, Jola, yeah, exactly. And they got oh. Mashabela to, to, to present it. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you'll it's come up with uh, Makwapeni Jean. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, the pits, <laughs> the armpits, <laughs> my <quapine. laughs> No, but uh, hey, we'll see, man. How? It, uh, but I think it's, and I think it's a, it's 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 a whack move for any side chick to want to come out when we had an agreement. Mm. If we agreed that this is your place and now and now you want to come out now and you know that I've got... It's one thing if I lied to you, then it doesn't make you a Makwapeni. You're just a woman who's being played. But if you agreed that this is your role, this is your role. You can't... It's like being hired and now you're pushing the boss for a promotion. The boss will promote you when the time is right. I think it's just, it's Moja Love trying to help clean the streets. So no! Let us... But you know when you're a Makwapeni, you always want to... Get promoted. That's the thing. It's we, not necessary. I could have always agree. And then, but it's now they always the want to lies that you are catch spoken, feelings. The, what, the things that are spoken. You know, yes, you one would know that you are cheating, but it's just the lies that's that people it's it you know when you've got an agreement. Mm -hmm. Because yes, there are like side chicks or side guys that have worked, relationships that have mm. worked, because you are being honest with each other. Mm. But once you want to lie and say, I'm not happy. Hey, that woman, watch what, watch what. Oh, that man in this. And then, but it's like, things are not adding up. You make a person angry. Ah, it goes, lady, it's not that deep. No, it is. I'm talking from experience. I was a Kwapeni once. You, you. Yeah, I'm a yeah. Kwapeni. Yeah, then I'm like, hey, promote me, eh? <laughs> You see, you would want to much I love. You see, you are what, the candidate. What, what happens, bro, since you are a Kwapeni? Why do you suddenly now get that exactly. feeling? Do you catch right. feelings? Yeah. What happens? No, I caught feelings, bro. And then it really hit home yeah. when one day I wanted to go see her. And she's like, yo, no, you can't. My boyfriend's coming. 
I'm not this fucking nigga. You see? Uh, you see, you couldn't live with the truth. Yeah, and then if she... You, if you were fine with the idea that I'm aside, if it, if they said I can't come, it's fine. And then I'm you like, yeah, you must way. choose between me or him now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, and then? <laughs> Which one is this one now? And they chose the nigga. Never make a dude choose. No, 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 she chose me. I got promoted. For real? Yeah. You got promoted? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, right. No, you're lying. I don't believe you. I pro- promise you. Never choose a person to choose their main... Like between their main and you. Never. No ways, bro. I kid you not. No ways, lies. I got that vendor dick, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's fire. <laughs> eh? <laughs> don't mess with, don't mess with dick. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you don't know. You've never had some vendor dick. Well, what? No, I haven't. <laughs> I doubt I'll ever have vendor dick. Thank you. <laughs> Oh shit, did you guys see that China's using uh, anal swabs for yeah. testing uh, COVID-19 now? Anal swabs? Yeah. How does that work? They put up your anus. Yeah. I hope it's not as rough so as they put swab? up your nose. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's a swab or it's literally, they they, they put it in. It is. It's in. Yeah. Yo. Wow. I think whoever came up with that must be a chiller. <laughs> We've got a chill in a lot of them in China. Oh, yes, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. might China. be a chill. But I feel like just China doesn't want to have to come back and say uh, they've got no corona. Like all the cases are negative. Because yeah. how can you get corona up in there? Right? <laughs> so now are you scared that if you fart, we will spread a corona? Is that the case there? Why is it? Is this more effective? What's... Apparently, they, well, that's the that it's more like I think some can be traced better via For anal swabs. It? Via anal swabs. So imagine you know how they 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 have the. What do you call him when you go to? Have you gone? Have you had an, um, a corona test? Um, yes, I have. It have. was the nasal thing. The they, nasal one. They put up the nose. Yeah. Didn't you sit in the car? They come to you, right? Nah, 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 nah. It was not in the car. It was oh. those mobile uh, testing mobile places. T- okay. Yeah. So I'm just thinking, who's now? How are they gonna get these facilities now? And what do you? Yeah, like yeah. now you bend over. <laughs> And they What's locate going? and how deep do they go in? An anal swab test involves inserting a cotton swab 1.2 to 2 inches. Inches, not centimeters. Inches. <sighs> Sounds like a vendor dick. No. <laughs> 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 I think a swab is like literally like a, a an earbud, right? All right. One to two inches into the uh, let me there's an ad here. Uh into the rectum. Once it's there, the swab is gently rotated several times, <laughs> then removed and placed into a sample container. Mm. The entire process only takes about 10 seconds. Mm. And now if you, one didn't like wipe properly previously, <laughs> who signs up to do these jobs? <laughs> like, so you'd have to go in, like if you are in the toilet before you go for your anal oh. swab, your test, right? You need to be going into your anus, basically. Two meters deep, just to... Two meters, no. <laughs> Two, two, no, two, two inches meter. deep. Two inches deep. Just to wipe yourself. Is this a walk-in rectum? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> you just march in two meters deep. Like, yeah, go right, go right. Show and get on it. Yo. But, no, I think, I think they ask you and they're like, are you sure did you clean up first, you know? Yeah. Shame, man. Some people's jobs, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you it know that some people do colon cleanses. You know that. I know, yeah. I know. I so mean, it's a very common practice, and where you just literally spend the whole day having clients walk in. Have you had anything like ever stuck up your butt? I had um, after hospital circumcision. Um, oh, they- oh, you went to the hospital. Yeah, I went to the hospital. Uh, suppositories. Yeah. What a yeah, punk. Suppositories. Yeah. Yes. I had them also suppositories. For it's yeah. For you. I had an operation. So oh, operation. Obviously, because it actually helps with uh, pain. Yeah, yes. suppositories. Instead of taking a Which one is that one now? It's a tablets that are put up your... They're like beans, almost yeah. like, like bean-shaped, mm-hmm. but they're not bending. They're just straight, like almost diamond-shaped, but not... It's like a small little bullet. And then, yeah, bullets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What does it help with? Pain. Pain. pain oh, relief. pain. Yeah, okay. Yeah. after surgeries. Oh, yeah. I see, yeah. I see, I see. see. That's well, no, what, would, what did you... What did you... <laughs> What did I do? For circumcision now. Yeah, oh, I was yes. circumcised at the hospital as a kid, yeah. man. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. My mom wasn't feeling any of the whole, you know. Going to end up in. Yeah, going. You didn't go to the mountain. No, I didn't go to ah, the mountain. You missed out, dog. But I'm Zulu. My dad is Zulu. Mom is Kosa. So it's that conflict as well, right? Mm. And yeah, I didn't, what did I miss out? I didn't miss out. Ah, it's dope, bro. The mountain. Yeah? yeah. It's lit. I, I, wow. if you say so, man. Are those things forbidden or are you going to tell us now the details? 
<laughs> they also nah, forbidden nah, nah. to talk about them. No, I've spoken about it on the podcast. Oh, ah, okay, yeah, cool. Everybody yeah. knows. Mm. Yeah, so I've had stuff up my ass. That's about it. That's the only stuff I've had up my, my ass. And mom. then like uh, prostate cancer, what, what? Testing. Yes. Testing. No. What are the symptoms? Hey, but once you get symptoms, it's late. No, I haven't. No, like I 40, should, maybe but at I would. 40, you should, at like, 40. Go for your test. You so I'm turning 34 sure. next month. I'm fine. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not saying, no, we never Should know. I go test? We, I, don't know. I would, but I don't mind, bro. Ah. But that's where they stick something up your, your bum, ne? I'm not know. sure. Prostate yeah. test. I yeah. Know. Is it? Yeah. But I would Google go, bro. How, for, do they do, I mean, how do they perform a prostate test? Prostate test, ne? Yes. How mm. is there's, there's something that I know that a lot of guys get checked up on and it involves them sticking something up their ass. Yeah, they, I've heard of, 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 of that. I know Colin cleansing. I've wanted hey, to now we must Google everything just because we don't want to be cancelled. Hey, no. oh, no, <laughs> these are, it's factual stuff, factual though. Stuff, it's not I'm, even that. Yeah. Who cares? That's too much that man. No. I'm not scared of being cancelled, man. <laughs> no, we want to uh, know the facts. I can't, we can't say. Because I'm curious. I want to know. Yeah. So I must Google prostate cancer operation no. or test. Test. How is it performed? Stages. Yeah. Okay, test, test. There we go. Prostate cancer test. Two tests are commonly used uh, to screen for prostate cancer. Digital rectal examination. Mm. That's the one, yeah. Mm. Rectum. A DRE is a test in which the doctor inserts a gloved, lubricated finger mm -hmm. into the rectum and feels the surface of the prostate through the bowel wall for any irregularities. Mm. Oh. That's the one I was talking about. Yeah. Mm. Don't yeah. you have a G spot there? Apparently, <clears throat> is it is that? Yeah, true? Yeah, so yeah. Imagine now that you wait. <laughs> Aye, it's tricky now. Eh? <laughs> it's tricky now. It's tricky. It's tricky. But Maybe when look, I'll do it. I'll do it. And say, how did they feel after a, pro a prostate test? Yeah. Well, how do you? Yeah. I don't think. If, oh, as far or as did as, they? Well, yeah. When, get to the G. Yes. If this does, did it cause you to? Have an erection. But we're meant to have these tests on a regular. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah we That's do. That's why I think I've I would. from at 40. I think it becomes something or oh, you need to get one at the age of 40. Mm. I don't know if that's No, I would. I'd definitely do it for my health, bro. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, what else happened this week, man? What did I miss? What happened? The Chinese uh, replacement of uh, Jackson and Tembu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How what's do you feel name? about how, that? How, what's her name? Xiaomi something Harvard. I can't, I can't spell the name, but it starts with an X. X yeah. yeah, which is generally in, in, in China or Chi. It's uh, something Harvard because she's married to a South African. So she got to South Africa after the, at 94, I think, as, mm. a, as a student. Mm. Married to a South African and uh, she's been in the ANC. She's now in parliament. Yeah. People aren't happy. I am also not. It's something, it just raises eyebrows. And you and, and people have a right to yeah. not be happy, yeah. guys. People yeah, have a right. Honestly. I mean, wow, we're all preaching diversity. True, but it's like, didn't they have any other people? And also, don't they have a preference? Like, you know, like in most companies, when they're going to promote someone, they prefer an internal person. Exactly. Yes, she is internal. Yes, she's South African because she's married to South African. But didn't they have South African-born leaders who could also take up that job? What if she's the best, pe best person for the job? As in she's best qualified. Mm, suited, yeah. Best qualified. Mm. The then job. she must get the job. Yeah. But it's still like, it's a matter of, would an African-born Solomzi who goes to China at the age of 19 or 20 find will himself... Get that opportunity. Get that opportunity in China in of being in parliament or their parliamentary equivalent. Yeah. We'll never know until you go, chief. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wait till they're done with their corona <laughs> test first. <laughs> <laughs> with the swabbing. <laughs> I want you to die with the swabbing before we do the swapping. Yeah. So let's wait. Let's wait. Right. And then, yeah. yeah. But this is let's an unfair trade right now. <laughs> I know, right now. Unfair trade. <laughs> so, uh, nah, let's be honest. Mm. It could never happen. But I guess we're South Africa. We are a very advanced country and we're a country of diversity. Mm. But I understand why people are concerned. Also, you know. Do you even care? Do you guys even care? No, I do care. And Honestly, I, just, I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> no, I do care. I would like to just see how far it goes and what is the... What, honestly, I, I feel like we need to... Because I didn't know of her. So it's one thing if someone mm. was in the background or some... It's like, this is someone we've known. It was just like, poof. This is... And it's, it's shocking. Like, I need, to, I need to gather more information. Like, how did she get the position? What All of these things. Like... And where are the young people yeah, in Parliament the also? ANC, 
Where are the young people in Parliament? It's like they're really young people. They're 29-year-olds, 30-year-olds. Are they not deserving of the opportunities? Mm. So that's also my gripe. It's not just the fact that she's Chinese. Yeah. She's a woman, yeah, great, hooray. But I mean, the age factor as well. She's not that old, but still, right? She's not young. I just feel like so many other people could have gotten the opportunity. Who are like, good. Yeah, who are just equally as good, mm. even better. Yeah. But it was... Let's right. just quickly... We'll exactly. see what happens with that. Yeah, yeah, we'll see, man. But I couldn't care less, man. Mm. All I want to know is, is there load shedding or is there no load shedding? That's all I want to know. Mm. Mm. Of you know, there's nah, no, no reports. Nah, I didn't have load shedding. Personally, yeah. I didn't have load shedding. Yeah, I also did We're good. I got you living soft there in little <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I, do you guys want to talk about Tia and Tiny? Tia and Tiny. Oof. It's another case of what happens in the dark. Will always come out. Read, read the uh, for, for for people that might be watching or listening and don't know what happened with Tia in time. What happened? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Victims of uh, Ti and Tiny are speaking out. Almost all stories are identical, and they involve drugs, mm. coercion, and rape. In less than twenty four hours, over six. 19 victims had come forward to speak on what they experienced. Through observation, one can note how most people who lived in Atlanta seem to have known about this for years. Hmm. With some Atlanta strippers saying they've always got, um, they've always been warned not to leave with T.I. and Tiny at any point. Oh, yeah. so they would go to parties or whatever and leave yeah. with someone, mm. maybe for some three, three some action. Have they said anything? Have they put out a statement? Well, T.I. was on the live, you know, you know how T.I. speaks big words and tries and yeah. it's almost he like He loves he's, those words. Yeah, he, like, yeah you see, just yeah. check it out and you just like... So he was denying the allegations. They denied them. Yeah, yeah. And denied them. They said if they continue, then they'll take legal action. Mm. And then um, Tiny posted on her Instagram. So the person who started this whole thing is a lady, Sabrina Peterson, I think. Yeah. And she's a close. she was close with the family. And uh, Tiny then posted a, uh, a, a, an Instagram post by Sabrina, the accuser. Mm. She posted T.I. and her sons, this accuser. Now, Tiny was saying, whoa, last two years ago, you were you're posting our sons, uh, saying T.I. Is, is, is their uncle. Mm. And now you're saying three, four years ago, T.I. held a gun to your head. So mm. which one is which? Mm. Uh, decide what's happening. But they have um, rejected everything and they're saying they're going to lay some charges. Clearly, that's legal action. So I was basically, even, basically what's said is that they swing and what they're opening about that, that they've got they live in that like their lifestyle and their marriage they were open to mm. like swinging and so clearly some, swinging yeah. and some of these people are strippers because in the strip club circuit in in Atlanta mm. they did say that do not leave with Ti and Tiny because yeah. clearly they make girls on some listen before we do this let's take a, a drugs. some drugs that or was whatever another, before you enter the house before you enter the room and then it's it's you see now and then they get paid easy. some. I yeah. mean, if they're strippers, I mean. Yeah, and if, Rob Kardashian once alluded to it in, yeah, a, in an Instagram China, post. Yes, with Black China. China yeah. One of the women who had gone through this thing. So it's, it's a, that's why they say it's a well-known thing. Like in Atlanta, people have known that this is what T.I. and Tiny do. Crazy. Yo. Insane. We'll Yo. see it unfold. I watched, I watched um, T.I. and Tiny on the red table with uh, Jada Pickett-Smith. Oh, yeah? And you could just tell T.I. is that whole uh, Utetum Vum. Utetum Vum. Oh, Utetum Vum. Yeah. What does that mean? Like, he's one of those niggas like, you know, the woman mustn't say anything. Oh, I see. Yes. He's like, I'm the head of the house. Yes. I speak. Yes. You uh, must check out his body language. Like, is it? Tiny couldn't speak, bro. That's Those are signs, though, of an abusive yeah. person. Mm. Truth be told. Yeah, those are signs like of an abusive person, man. If, you if you're a control freak. Yeah. My way or the highway. Yeah, you could tell he's like, yo, shut up, bitch. Just wash the dishes. Oh, <laughs> you can't have whatever you want. Yeah. Just from that. <laughs> you can't have whatever you want. Not in my house. <laughs> hey, I'm exposing my age. What an old song. Yeah? Old song. <laughs> I'm sure he's got new songs. Wow. <laughs> Marty, you can tell he's those type of niggas. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Mm, traditional and. Yeah. Probably Zulu. Never know. How? No. No. I defend. It's Tulani. His name is Tulani. The Tia is Tulani. What's the I for? Thank you. In Kazumola. There's no such a surname. Tulani in Kazumola. No, there's no such a surname. Therefore, there isn't, though. <laughs> <laughs> no such. There is no Zulu surname starting with an I, yeah? <laughs> no, there isn't. Uh, what do you guys think about Lennox Patella? 
Eish, Lennox Bakrela, Sia Krela. Go see your son. So Lennox Bakrela had an affair, you know, with these hot girls. A girl is really hot. I just forgot her, uh, her Insta and Twitter. Oh, handles. so she's like an Instagram girl. I wouldn't say she is, but she's very hot and she is on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they've got a son mm. with this girl. Lennox Bakrela is not interested in the least. Where is he playing see. now? He's still playing for Pirates. I'm not sure. Still Pirates. No, not pirates. Oh, yes. Yeah, Lennox Bakrela is not seeing his son as a deadbeat father. Um, not even a visit. The, the mother of the child doesn't want money from him. Obviously, she'd like for him to contribute towards the raising of the kid. Mm. And right now she's saying, please come see your son. I can even pay mm. for your transportation oh. to just come see your son. Oh. That's crazy. Be a present father. I don't, I don't understand why... As a father, you don't want to be in your kid's life. Dude, like, when I the can kid never copy exactly in there. Like Lennox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly like Lennox. I don't get it. Shame, what What is it that in your head you sit somewhere, you think there is, I've got someone out there who comes fr from me, mm. you know, a part but of me. But you guys are men. I'm sure you know someone who's not a present dad. No, none of my I friends. Don't know I don't know anyone who's not a present dad except for no. my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Join the club. Mine was a spam dude. We're together, man. Ah. Eh, radio rejects, paternal rejects. Ah, man. Is this podcast or orphans and chill? Drop this fucking thing of yours. Eh, what is this? And you? Did you ask your father involved? No, my father is very much. He's a Zulu dad. Yeah, yeah. I think this well. is why we're so fucked up. <laughs> hey, 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 don't blame it on us. Blame it on our father. <laughs> cancel our father. Cancel our father. <laughs> We've got daddy issues, guys. <laughs> we have daddy issues. <laughs> Our fathers. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, that's the Lennox story, man. You know, and and the irony is, you go over Lennox because he doesn't tweet a lot. He has a tweet where he's like, uh, "My father, thank you. I can't imagine life without you." Aww. Not oh oh what when he. Is making a child imagine life without him yeah, as a father. Because no, I'm thinking like, oh, you say like this and then you can't even think that, okay, exactly. I'm child, It's like no. you think the privilege you had of being with your father and yet you are denying another child, your child, that privilege of just knowing their dad. And no, it's not like you need to be with baby mama. No, just be there. Yo, man, there's nothing sweeter than your child, the glow in their eyes when they see when you they and see you are their Superman. So you've seen your dad? No, no, I know my dad. Oh, okay. I know my dad. Just like wasn't pretty. See, like with my dad, it's that situation of, um, you know your dad, your dad knows where you stay, but he's just not really interested in being present, mm. right? Mm. And my mom and dad separated in 91, I was four. And my mom would go to church like around my dad's house, which mm. was our home, but mm. now she moved out. Mm. So I'd go visit him because he was my hero, mm. right? He was my hero, hero. Mm. Up until you like, ah, this shit is just one way traffic, <laughs> right? Oh. And, you, you know, and you grow up, mm. you grow up. Dude, kids will always grow up and eventually they'll see which parent was the problem. Yeah. Mm. Eventually the kids will, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I eventually noticed that, ah, okay, it's like that. I right, cool. You know, there's court cases. Mom is trying to get a bit of support. She's not getting anything. And I think also her at some point, she was like, it's cool. I'll do this by myself. And you, ghost lady? My dad? dad? Mm. No, my dad was present. Was like, dad. No, but my family. dad always worked far away. That was another thing. My father always worked farther, far away. And a goalie. Always, yeah, kind of like vibes. A goalie. Was some, at some point, he was overseas. You Did know, he have family so this side? He had family. Mm. Which side? Yeah, a goalie. No, luckily <laughs> nobody was found. <laughs> <laughs> no one has come through. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kumbuleka. No, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he was he was there. He but was your there. dad, as much as he was far away, <laughs> let's say there was video calling and all those things. Yeah. He'd be doing those kind of things, yes, right? Yes, yes. Exactly. And it means a lot. Just even if you see your kid weekly, bro. Me, Sundays are for my kid. You know I what think I mean? what saved it, I remember I just recently thought of this, that my dad used to, you see like the Sunday Times, mm -hmm. like he used to love the Sunday Times um, newspaper. Mm. So he would have like, he would cut up like some 
articles and actually post us. Every week would get a post from him just saying, read this, do this, do that, you know? Look at this. Yeah. Listen so to that. So it was very present. Listen to that, I had bro. The, I, I knew I had a dad a weekly because there was a post coming in from my dad and maybe like a 10 run note or 20 run notes. You yeah. see, you didn't have the normal drive to school or walk to school, but yes. that's the memory, the fond exactly. memories of yeah. your father being a father, even if it's from yeah. a distance. My mom used to drive me to school, but she had a Corolla, like the old ones. Yeah. And I'll tell her, hey, park there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, privileged brat. You know? Privileged she's already, brat. Like, he's, she's already driving you to school. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, some of us are cramped behind the <laughs> van going to school in, in a, a taxi. taxi. Like, hey, oh. Because we're in a taxi. No, yes. like Kumbis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Kumbis going, uh, which operate as school buses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro. There, like 30 of us in yeah. those things. Yeah. You know? Stuffy but in high school, we, 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 we would catch a taxi Yeah, home, high like, school, we're grown up now. Yeah. We can yeah. catch taxis. Yeah. But in primary, it was... Primary, you know, it was transport. transport. For real. Yeah, exactly. It was in transport. I transport as well. Mike, she had transport. Trans make tester. Eh. And it could happen. Eh. Or you get a hiding from your mom and that's it. Because your mom doesn't have a car and you in Forced Lord, Alberton, it's like 20 kilometers, 15 kilometers away. Yeah. You, you don't go to school. I went through so much with transports. For real? Because we used to stay a bit far, you know. Mm. So we were going to those kids who go to school in town. So our transports, when we get into the, the, the I guess I can say the location. Yeah. Because we stayed far, the guy used to start to say, hey, Imota, it's start. You know, to walk home. Yeah. Like, all the time, I'm like, why is this happening? Every time we get to this point, the guy's like, Imota, it's start. It's too good. I come by. Yeah. I... Just because he didn't want to go up, like, ah, I was like, hey, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I missed out on the transport line. Oh, transport life was dope. Yeah. Fun. They used to make us sit at the back, you know, because we were smaller. And then the, you know, the high school girls were sitting there in front. Yeah. Because you know, they had privileges. They could take the coins, you know. Ah. Yeah. Like, wow, hey, it's nice to be an older, you know, high school kid. And the drive to the to the school is lit. It's yeah. lit, dude. It's lit. <laughs> the worst memory I have though is when I was desperate. I needed the toilets, right? And I needed to sit down. <laughs> but now it's a transport full of kids. You can't <laughs> tell the driver that yo, I need that. I need to take a dump. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because now you know the kids are gonna laugh at you and whatnot and whatnot. And I almost made it to the loo. I almost. Oh no. As soon as I opened the doors, running up, you know, and we're late. You're own, clinching your, black, your butt cheeks. I'm <laughs> clinching it like shut as if I'm trying to get a corona test in China. <laughs> You're avoiding one, yeah? I'm avoiding one. As soon as I opened the door, ah, all hell broke loose, Ooh. Yeah, you know. Then I had to wait there for like 30 minutes after... You know, class, classes were in progress and I know there's no one who's going to see me. Mm. And then... You walked I, home? I, no, I walked to the office. Oh. Walked to the office. I told them I need my mom. I was in primary school. I'm like, I need my mom. I've just had this accident. And my mom came with a car. They got a car. They picked me up and yeah. Shit, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. That's, so that's the only problem about transport. You know, yeah. kids. But kids are kids. Yeah. And yeah. I couldn't afford kids not finding out. I mean, finding out that <laughs> You missed one. yourself, eh? And, and no, no, that I need... The toilets. Because oh. I, then the driver would have stopped by the freeway and be like, go ahead. You know, and but I was too shy. All mm. the kids will yeah. be looking at you then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the next time, the next time I try to say something, <laughs> you know, so I don't want to be the part of old jokes. I don't want to be the part of old jokes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I had to just keep oh, it shit. in. Yeah, man. But transport memories. Yo, I, yeah. I remember oh, we were camping once, right? So we went on a school camp mm -hmm. and then we're walking like in the forest or the whatever, what we're doing, yeah. I can't remember. So now I needed to sit down. I went, mm. ah, we're far from the toilet. Far, bro. Mm. So I'm like, I'm a village boy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? This ain't nothing new. Yeah. What do you do when you invent and you need to shit? Mm. You just pull aside. Yeah. You do your thing. Yes, sir. I do my thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, good, good. <laughs> and then I grab a rock. <gasps> yeah, yes. Got no, a Yes. I'm done. Yes. I went back to the camp. A uh -huh. rock. Yes. Yeah, what a there leaves. You know, aren't there specific leaves that are... are, are, are oh, we use the rock. Uh, it's rocks I normally, yeah. Them. So now... We use rocks. I'm at the I back. My like... one friend asked me. It's like, what did you do? I'm like, uh, no, I was, I was taking a shit. It's like, where's the tissue? What did you wipe with? Mm -hmm. I'm like, a rock. You? Did you not tell the whole class? <laughs> 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 that he's hit rock bottom. <laughs> Hey, you hit rock yo, bottom. Yo, right? your first on the rock, hit the bottom. 
<laughs> that whole camping for real. Nobody wanted to sit next to me. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I mean about kids, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and in fairness, it's a normal thing. We used to rock to wipe. Not even in the township, dog. It's nah. normal when you're playing. You don't yeah. go home to take a dump. Yeah. Yeah. You just do it there in Makatini yeah. somewhere and you wipe with a rock or a newspaper, or whatever you can find. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I was between a rock and a hot place. <laughs> <laughs> and you went with the rock. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Hey, but the stuff we go through when we're young, guys. Bad, it's too much. Yeah, think about it now, like, uh, uh, but life, eh? <laughs> and it's white kids, they probably think, like, this fucking guy. Yeah, dude, yeah. they white kids are like a rock. I'm sure there's one who still thinks about a rock. Yeah. <laughs> Even now, like a rock. <laughs> Tell the story to yeah. your friends. Yeah. yeah, man. Oh, shit, man. Anything else? Did I miss anything? MT, guys. MT oh, dropped the song shit. Tamba oh. and it got into an accident. He, Fuck you, kidding. He got involved in an accident. He tweeted that it wasn't an accident. Is it? It's his fifth accident now. Damn yeah. it. Someone needs to teach MC. Either he's, he's not driving properly or he's not driving sober. One of those two. Mm. Really. I mean, what else could it be? Oh, MT shit. needs to learn to There's drive, a lockdown man. now. You should be sober. Five. Psh, please. You know, we know there's no lockdown yeah. if you've got access and you've got money to buy alcohol. Mm. But nah, man, I, I don't know, man. MT, take care of yourself, man. I mean, super talented guy. Mm. Country still needs him. Can't be. So, five, what did I you mean, think of the song? I haven't listened to the song. Mm. I saw it trend. I haven't really listened to the song. But it's MT and I see praises for the song. Yeah, MT's dope. But nah, I feel nice. like um, when it was that ambitious, man, Ooh, that marriage worked. Yeah. Fuck the bullshit. Mm. Of what happened But I'm saying mm. like sound wise Because I remember I saw him uh, Last year December yeah. Just before we Went to the, to the hard lockdown mm -hmm. He was performing in Soweto At Some place I forgot the name of the place Okay So it was my first time Seeing MT perform mm -hmm. So I'm like excited I'm like fuck Because yeah, yeah, I love MT you know And then I saw him on stage Yeah the guy didn't look right eh Is it Yeah no How he didn't he look, look right He looked like He was either high You see what I mean Or like Going through the most, you could tell he was just there to get a bag. Mm. Like. A bag? How many grams? He <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> 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 wasn't all right. <laughs> yeah, man. You know? Yeah. And then when I realized when he was performing, people were more receptive to the songs he did when he was still at Ambitious. Mm. And the ones that he's dropped after didn't land that much. But I'm thinking he can still create that sound because, I mean, Ambitious, they had a few producers, but their main guy was Ruff. And Ruff is with Java, and they've both left um, Ambitious Records. They've got their own uh, record label. Yeah, yeah. And they're still boys. I mean, Ruff was the guy who said that Casper Nuevas is never going to work with MT. Mm. So Ruff and MT, they're still cool. So they can always recreate that sound. It doesn't mm. take Ambitious. Oh, but MT's dope. Yo. Yeah. MT's super talented, yeah. bro. Yeah. MT! You super talented. You must just sort these things out, man. The country... But don't you, think, don't you think that's where the magic comes from? From what? From him being so fucked up. No, bro. Mm -hmm. I know that a lot of people say that. I mean, Buga Mabalane made some of his hottest music when, you know, he was going through the drug uh, season in his life. But you need... The talent is there. As a person, the talent is there. If it takes drugs to bring it out, it means the talent is in you. You need it's, to find yeah, something else that else can bring exactly. it out. Because talents don't... I mean, drugs don't create the exactly. talent. Otherwise, drugs? everyone in, like, who takes drugs would be it, amazing. Yes, position, exactly. Whatever. No. Exactly. I think they are. No. no. <laughs> Talent does no. not bring out, is not brought out by the drugs. I mean, it is, but it's not created by the drugs. Sorry. It's not created by the drugs. So bring, find a place, find something that can bring that thing. Because what do drugs do? They trigger maybe him to be more happy, him to be... More confident. More confident. It's, it's confidence. Find something yeah. trigger that can trigger those feelings, feelings and then yeah. you get the creative juices flowing. Yeah. My thing is we try so much to uh, tell most troubled artists or whatever, mm -hmm. okay. entertainers, yeah. to no, do this, do that, do that, do that. But don't you feel like in changing them, you're losing that... That magic, man. That's why his music is so dope. Because maybe that's... He's, he's suffered so much. He's gone through so much pain. 
Yeah, that's you know, cool. Is that what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that is cool, but that's independent of of of. For example, any Lu- Luis Suarez, ne? Okay. Uh, Luis Suarez, mm-hmm. talented footballer, mm-hmm. but fucking shit human being. Mm-hmm. Right? He was mm-hmm. biting people. Yes, I remember. Yeah. But if you try tame that, and you try get rid of that, he might not be a good footballer. Like maybe he needs to be on the edge for him to be so good. But if it's sustainable, then yes. But if it's the substances that, you know, bring, get you to that edge, it's not sustainable, especially as a father of two or a father or a wife or a brother or anything. As a human being, it's not sustainable. How many people can say they've been on drugs for 40 years and uh, their music career is thriving because of that? It's not sustainable. I'm against... Because what if that was just taking him to, like, it, it just, it, 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 it raised his anger levels, you know? Like just that he, he erupted. It made him erupt even more. So is there still a need for him? Hey, I'm lost. What's in? I'm lost. I'm lost. You're talking about Luis Suarez, right? Yes, oh, yes. Okay. yes. And you're saying, but with a person like that, because I'm hearing like anger issues. Mm-hmm. This is someone biting ears, you know. I, I, like, But maybe that, that's where he gets the, 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 the that, that drive, ah, you know, that drive from. It's more like anger issues. But if you take that away from him, then it becomes pop. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm trying to say that in as much as, yes, uh, we want MT to do right and do this mm-hmm. and do whatever. But maybe that's where the magic is from. And once you take that away from him, he's just like a normal artist. The magic cannot be. And this, and guys, we're not assuming that Magaiva just said, what if, maybe, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. where he gets the dopeness from. from. Yes. Right? We're not saying that MT, that's what he, he needs in order to write music. But if it is... Then, then, then we need to cancel the music, then, bro, because he's human. It's not before, worth it. yeah, his music, he's human before he's anything. He's a father before he's an artist. So we cancel the music. Well, if he can't make music, and that's a big if, he can't make music sober. I'd rather have not listen, not have empty drop music than him be there for his kids. Yeah. Rather, I'd rather not enjoy as a listener and as a fan. I'd rather he deprives me and is there for his wife it, and his it, kids. Exactly. Yeah, and he's We're in a human. much better space. Exactly, in a much sober space. I'd rather, bro. If if this if this if that's what it takes to him to be out there and performing, like no, it's not worth it. If he can't perform sober, like you said, you, then I'd rather he doesn't perform. He stays home mm. and I don't, whatever, as long as he's alive. As a nah, human. I don't agree, guys. It's it's too don't agree. Nah, so it's too you'd rather he drops this music and. And then next sinks deeper in, yeah, sinks deeper into his troubled life. Yeah. As long as we're getting cool music. I think <laughs> I think that's selfish as that's fans. Not, exactly. As that's fans, I think right. I, man. I'd rather You he, know Ronaldinho before every game you needed to tough tough. That's sustainable mm-hmm. though. <laughs> <laughs> it's hurting no one. You know? Sex is healthy. Dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sex is healthy. Sex is good. You glow from sex. Mm-hmm. I am He's hurting no Just cough, cough before you release. That's why we say, yeah. rather find something else. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? So, nah, rather... Yeah, exactly. I think we're having two different conversations, but anyway, it's fine. No, we're having the same conversation. No. You saying, let the man keep doing what brings out the best in him. Whatever works for but him. But I'm saying if it's hurting okay, him... and it's whatever works. Mm-hmm. If an instance someone say is taking drugs in order for them, before they um, record, in, before they perform on stage, they need to take drugs. They need to, whether it's cocaine or whatever. Are you saying if that, if that what it, it helps you, take it, continue? Is that what you're saying? I am saying... Here's a good example. Yeah, yeah. go on. I'll, go on. I am saying, sharp, MT can do right, right? Yeah. Go to rehab, do whatever. That we say as the public. Because how it started is like, <clears throat> Zol said, MT, you need to do better. Right? And I'm like, okay, cool. He can do better. Uh, he can become a sober person like we want him to be. But the musical. But, but then what if that impacts the music? Because the music is from the pain. So now, if you check, like if you listen to Eminem, Eminem takes out his best work when he's like on the couch. You know, like when people are shitting him on him and saying he's down and out, he must quit rapping, it's over. That's when he's like, all right, okay. he's on yeah. You understand? Yeah. So but he always a- needs to prove to people how dope he is. Mm-hmm. And that's where the magic comes. Mm-hmm. So now when people say you're dopey, then there's, not, there's no driving force anymore. Mm-hmm. I get it. 
if, if, for example, with MTV. Because I remember music, when I, sorry, sorry to cut mm-hmm. you off. No, no, it's cool. I remember when I DJed, I couldn't DJ so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I can hear what the people want to hear. Yeah. Oh. When I'm drunk, I'm in the same vibe, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. So when I was sober, I, it wasn't the same. The set didn't land. Okay. So I had to drink every time I was DJing. That's okay. the easiest way, though. But there is, I'm sure, a way you could have found that same feeling of when you're drunk, when you're sober. Because let's say I had to DJ every day. That's why Avicii, Avicii mm. is a perfect example of that shit. Oh, yeah. The Avicii yeah. was tired of DJing. Okay. Mm. Right? Because he couldn't do it if he's sober. He's sober. Mm. He couldn't, he needed a drink. He needed, and he was fucking tired of it and he couldn't mm. take it anymore. It consumed him. Okay. Where is he now? Mm. He's yeah. not with us. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So it's not sustainable. If you MacGyver, you're DJing there, chaff balls or whatever. <laughs> like once a month. Once a month. How? You can drink. You can. Avicii, dog. Mm. That oak had. Gigs every day. Every day, literally. Every day, yeah. In Ibiza, all exactly. over the world. All over gigs the every world. day. Dude, if Avicii were to land, or if you're still alive, or Hardwell or whatever, tomorrow is performing in South Africa, it would be a full venue. Mm. Mm. On a Monday. So now the guy's traveling all over the world every single day. Mm. It's not sustainable. Look what happened to Avicii. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Not sustainable. So not would you rather have a MT? sober MT will be fine if... You know, he's got good people around him and he actually starts listening to the people around him. Mm-hmm. He tweeted that he's uh, sorry to his wife. Um, I love you, Miss Ndevu, Mrs. Ndevu, the mother of my sons. Mm. And those kind of people are the people you need to listen to. Your wife yeah. will always have your interest what in should, heart. What are they doing? Lean, eh? Lean. I don't is know it, what they're on. I know there's lean. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, hey, that shit looks potent, syrup. eh? Whew. Hey cough man, cough syrup. syrup is crazy, man. You know, I don't With know Sprite, what they're on. Yeah. Sprite, yeah. Syrup. Maybe we should try it. No. Uh, mm. And how will it help us? No. <laughs> how will it help hey, us? Dog. For the <laughs> sake of the podcast, so we know what we're talking about. I get about <laughs> the one fact. <laughs> <laughs> and lived experiences. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see them. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know what we're talking about now. I get it. Yeah. yeah we can't just assume, yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can't be like apparently Lee. Nah, no. nigga. I did it last weekend. Hey. <laughs> I am on it. Yeah. It hits, it hits, it hits, it hits, it hits. Oh, man. This has been Podcast and Chill, man. Ghost Lady, anything I'm leaving out? What do you um, want to say? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Music yeah. is closed. Music. Oh, music is going to close soon. Oh. You lie. Yeah, it's music closing when end of? March. March. No, no, in the next no, few no, months, no. man. Yeah, Jeez. Clicks Group. Because yeah. uh, Clicks bought it in 92. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Musica is, is, is gone, gone. Yeah. But when was the last time you went into Musica? Fuck, I, I can't anything. even remember. Yeah. I can't even remember. I mean, it was tw- 2014 and I was buying a DVD. Mm. A Trevor Noah DVD. I was buying it for someone. I remember very well. That's it. Oh, oh Trevor Noah. Yeah, that's hey, my boy. Hey, my boy. Hey, my Noah, boy. Noah, 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 Noah. <laughs> hey, Noah. <laughs> we have risen. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Here we go. Hi, Trevor. Hey, Trevor. I've had a busy week. <laughs> Full of transgressions. <laughs> Full of transgressions. <laughs> uh, please. I hope this doesn't alter. <laughs> Our episode Please let me know If you can come through We love you man We love you Trevor Perfect Oh you know what Someone uh, came up With an idea Okay He said We should take A picture Of Trevor Mm -hmm. Put it up And then ask people To tag him That way He might see it as opposed to like DM, because imagine it's Trevor. No, how many DMs is he getting? Yeah, matter I mean, if you see people ah, are tagging I, him. I feel like I know he's he's getting it. He's getting, he's getting it. it. Yeah, he's getting it. Uh, I'm on a social media break, so I, yeah. I'm not trying to tag anyone yeah. <laughs> anytime hey, soon. Hey, 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 man. <laughs> I'm trying to trend. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you trended enough. I trended enough. <laughs> enough. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, it's, 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 All right, cool, man. We are here, podcast and chill. It's been great. It's been amazing. Make yeah. sure you subscribe. Uh, do comment. Do yeah. like. Yeah. Also, uh, we are. Super TV uh, Make sure you check out The affiliate code In the description below yep, yep, That's yep. if you want to Sign up to Super Bits And get some awesome Cool prizes And Thank you for the support Yeah and discount Yeah man Yo, Yo. Thank you for the support Yo chiles, man chiles, This week chiles. I saw Who's with us Yay. And who's not And who's not yeah, Right Yo yeah, the man. people The tweets See yeah. I saw. But surprisingly enough I, I, There were more people Like who Showed us love 
I thought it was going to be the other way around. Nah. Do you get what I'm saying? I trust the chill. The chillers, bro. I, and look, what we do, we do for the chillers. Yeah. Yeah. And the chillers get no, us. No, no, no. The, the chillers, I didn't mind. Like, they get the, us. The, the chillers, but I was... There are a lot of chillers, Bree. I was saying like in the industry, there's so many people oh, who are for industry. us. Yes. Oh, the industry. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. cause you know how we're always like, ah, the industry doesn't love us, eh? the oh, industry, yes. whatever. Now the industry supported them. Like, wow, though. oh, you calling? I'm like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, the industry was there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. bro. So Anyone much. in the podcast industry? <laughs> who called you? Nah, nah, nah. Huh? No, no, no. no, but uh, uh, Tabang, I didn't call you, but he called me. It's one of the guys Dojo. from Dojo. Yeah. Very, no, they like, show us ah, love. They show super love. supportive guy, man. Mm. Yeah. Right, and cool. this other one, I forgot. Hey, but she wasn't showing love, man. I forgot her name. She got like 1.7 million Twitter followers and she's got like 600 views on oh. her vlog. <laughs> No. On her podcast. <laughs> oh, she says it's a podcast. She's got oh. 600 views. I've got 2 million followers. How are you getting 200 view, views on, on your podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, she wasn't showing any love. I forgot her name, man. Yeah, don't uh, forget about that. It's cool. We saw them. We see you guys. Yeah. She mustn't come for us. We'll end a career. A speedster. <laughs> How did you end speedster? <laughs> We are here, man. Podcast is chill, bro. Pop for us, eh? Enda. Bye, man.